ما بي تراب عندنا بس روح انقتل جزاك الله خير اخوي ترى شلون؟ ما اعرف السيارة يعني These 150 people being kidnapped, but there are others at risk in the area as well. 700 families were forced to flee, about 3,000 people forced out of their homes, and we understand 600 of those. Could... You can imagine the frustration I felt watching ISIS repeatedly attack in the region I grew up in. Even though it had been years since I had left, it was devastating to just sit there and watch these horrific events unfold. I knew I had to do something. The only weapon I knew how to use was a camera. I decided to travel to Syria to expose the atrocities being committed and search for hope. I had not walked on this ground in a long time. I could barely recognize it. These streets were full of people and life. As a child, I used to spend my weekends in these villages of Khabur, playing with friends, catching frogs and swimming. ISIS has left no place for playing anymore. The Khabur River became a strategic natural barrier. It was the reason why there were still few protected villages left, even while I was there. ISIS was camped only 300 yards away from the opposite bank. If ISIS were to attack again, the Assyrian villagers would need more than a river to protect them. It wasn't exactly the perfect time to visit. These men were a few of the Assyrian locals who were patrolling the villages. <laughs>
A man an artist who used to live in the Khabur Valley, which is now controlled by ISIS. He now lives in Qamishli, which is a nearby city. His own aunt and many of his friends were among those kidnapped by ISIS. فدي أنا هم دي الوحيد الوحيد تم تخمونا بيدي ليلة بيوما كل لم تخمونا بنا ناشي بقالتي فقط طيب شلون خطف عمتك وأصدقائك أثر على شغلك مثلا؟ هلا أثر كثير إنه أنا ما اشتغلت يعني إنه ما ضليت مثلا من قطع مثلا صلي بحدود الشهر شهر وشوي عرفت شلون؟ بس لما حاولت طلع الشغل معي كثير حلو يعني شغلة اللي بتخليك تبدع يعني انا من وجهه نظري انا ما بعرف يعني اذا بتكون فرحان كثير فيك واذا تكون حزين كثير فيك بس الفرق بين الاثنين انه الحزن بحسه اصدق يعني يعني مثل السكران قبل ما يسكر بشوي بتلاقي بيلاقي حاله عم يحكي كثير شغلات هي فعلا صادقه 100% ممكن لما بيكون واعي ما يقدر يحكيها وهذا الشغل طلع من وحي ال... من وحي القصص اللي عم تصير يعني وخج عددي رابنا شو اللي عم تاجي ولا مخه مخه <تصفيق> بس جودنا ظروف لمسة الأمن شو عندي يعني أخ لي خازت جاك أصل الشام ما يثد وأن مثاله يعني جو ذا وظف دغب خاي جاودي ممكن بقى لحظة جاوجة بلطة The Assyrian story didn't end in Syria, so I had to go to Iraq. I crossed the borders by a small boat through the Tigris River. That was the only way to get out of Syria from that region. I had been to Iraq before, but I knew this time would be very different. I couldn't believe what I saw. Nearly half of the Assyrian population in Iraq lives in camps like these throughout the northern part of the country. They were all forced out of their homes by ISIS. That was in June 2014. I visited many camps and I met hundreds of displaced people. Sometimes their faces blurred together and it got difficult for me to recall them. But this child, this child looked familiar to me. As I spoke with his parents, he kept wanting to play with a camera. So I gave it to him. Then he started videotaping his sister, and that's when it hit me. About a year earlier, I was in Iraq filming in a different camp. He was the same child I had met before. He told me he wanted to be a filmmaker, like me. I wonder where he'll be the next time I see him. These are the desks and drawers should have been studying on. But they had been thrown away to clear more space for the displaced families.
Thousands of others live in shelters like these. They call it a caravan here in a camp. For me, I only consider it a storage box. Oftentimes, two or three families live in this box. I spent only a single night in a caravan, so I can't claim to truly understand the hardships these families endure. الوش هو اسمى شيء بالبني ادم يعني كل تعابيرك الداخليه بتظهر بهذا الوش يعني هذا الوش عم شوفه عند الصغير عم شوفه عند الكبير عم شوفه عند المراه عم شوفه عند الصبيه ولو هي لا تظهره او هذا ما بيظهره يعني بس هو موجود في بده ولا ما بده هذا الشيء كمان وفاه المرحوم ابي كمان اثر كثير فاخذت اعمالي هذا النمط يعني هاي كاسة المتة خشب أنا بحب الخشب كثير سرقتها من بنت عمتي أه وخطيبة كان جاب لي هدية يعني قشطتها منها ويلا شفتها حلوة يعني شكلها فني جايب لها وردة زهرية على أساس يعني صفت عندي يلا هن صفوا بالسويد ما في مشكلة Look, there is a sign here. The sign has been put down. It's written on Assyrian on it as well. You see it? Samele. They should have the bones shaped into graves. They should make a memorial here, something that people can come here and understand what happened here. Savina was born and raised in Iraq, but she had been a strong advocate for Assyrian ethnic rights in many parts of the world. They're trying to get rid of our present, our history, our future, as if we never existed here. As if we shouldn't exist here. As if we were never part of this land. We had enough. It's time for us to become an independent nation in our country, to defend ourselves, to keep our homes, our existence, our identity. And at this moment, it looks like carrying an arm, a weapon, is the only way. So be it. يوم الى برقول برقول الى الهواه وبرقول داخل اخر ما صوت بدي ثلاث خجميات وثلاث خجوارات وبيان وخلاص انا طيب خجميات لا هاوي يقصر ولا هاوي بي شيء مكتايا وجل قال ديدي ربي واخا اخني يعني قلت ويلا امرخ ان بي يو ان بي اف تبي خنوشه كلنا اعطي مودي لرايان وقد اخني وقلت لن بش من خا جيسا لا لا من دي خمدي رابه غلطه له من يوم يوم اخنا قد هبون خا جيسا جانا موت بهاش قرية شمة لتلن كثرة لتلن كثرة أخني مشكلة ديدا إيكي لأنا مخت أنا خزنا مشكلة جوجب ديدا 
يعني للتنازل خدانا لا يتنازل كنت خانه وانا وانا يعني اخني قرك خجي بس خجي وخيان ما تخلو كل ضرغي جباي الخبالة اتوخ اخ ام تناي اخنا قدو 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 حرب مع داعش واخنا ورا زي اسلحه داعش مو دي زي زي خلواتين مو دي بصراحه ليه ما صو خلنا نوضخ محاربه ادخ منظمه اكبر منظمه رهابيه بقاود عالم اخنا نوضخ لهم محاربه وتشكه بسيطه هزيله بصراحه يعني انا هو هو سلاح دي دي شخصي قلت لي سلاح له يعني سلاح دي شخصي له خلكم من فعلا سلاح دي شخصيه في مثيه وثي علي ولا خم قوه وخيله ما تزيد له شباب جديدا وبناتي هما يا مودي لا لا خذي خبره يا ست انت تشك بناتي بناتها قبليك ولا لا خشبات؟ لا لا كمو لا تخزن ويني ولا لا؟ وديلهم بشاكر ابو جرامه والعلم الرشيديه عمره والعلم الرشيديه عمره؟ ايه ايه ولا شريطين ولا سلوه دري على ما اظن مخليتين بعد خينا ايه هو لا رش عمود خدمه الزياده اللي بده يشيل السلاح انا بحترمه وبحبه بالاخير هو اخي بدي ولا ما بدي هو اخي وانا بزعل عليه لما بيصيبوا شيء وانا قلبي معه يعني ولكن ما فيني ما فيني اعمل مثل ما عم يعمل هو يعني انا ما بشوف هذا حل يعني أنا ما فيني أقتل يعني، هلا في عالم بيفكروها هاي قصة جبن، في عالم بيفكروها ما بعرف شو، بس أنا مسألة القتل عندي صعبة جدا يعني. أحد أهم الأهداف اللي عم يعني يشتغلوا عليها إنك أنت تيأس يعني. أحد أهم الشغلات إنه أنت لا يكون عندك نفس لا تشتغل ولا كذا ولا 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 تعطي ولا تعطي مشان هو يبرز يعني الطرف الثاني، يعني مو شرط إنك تقابل كل شيء بال بلغة الانتقام وبلغة الكذا وبلغة الكذا لا فيك تقابلها بابتسامة هيك حاولوا يا شباب تفضلوا زعامة ما صدقت ايه مثلي انا كثير صغير على فكرة يعني اللي بيعرفني منيح بيعرف انه اني صغير وصغير كثير انت لاحظت كم مره انقطعت الكهرباء ونحن عم نصور؟ خمس مرات In addition to the current suffering caused by ISIS, the Assyrians still have unhealed wounds from a century ago. In 1915, All Christians of modern-day Turkey faced a threat of extermination. It was a full-on genocide that was carried out by their own government, the Ottoman Turks. Millions of Greeks, Armenians, and Assyrians were annihilated. My grandparents used to tell me stories of this genocide as though it happened just the day before. They never forgot. بشنت اه نوت كومبليت اللي هي ونايه بايدي شيم سمثينغ وباروته ورده وتومه ودشتو من قريه باز امين ستارتد ان ذا يير 1908 اند ذي وير كومبليتد ذا يير از نوت ذير ات ذا هاندز اوف شيم ذيس از وات واز ليفت فروم ذا اسيريان لاندز هير ا لاند ذي يوز تو كول هوم فور ثاوزندز اوف ييرز This is all the Assyrian graveyard. Unfortunately, the Turkish government came, built a school right there, and put a toilet right on top of the graveyard. Government and people here. Yes, both. Not on go government. Okay, government come here, destroy, take the wall, mm. take the straw. Mm. But people come here for gold, for other things, mm. destroy here. 
there's a wall there too. Can you yes, see? Yes, 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 yes. Is uh, I say not small church because I remember very big here. If we have an archaeological excavation, archaeology. Yes. They have no connection to these churches. They have no connection to these houses. It's not their heritage. If someone doesn't look after his property, if someone doesn't look after his heritage, other people are going to come and destroy it. Every time I say the big tragedy, because you are living in here, yes. maybe your big grandfather and my big grandfather friend in here. Right. But no, but no, you are visiting here and we, everybody say you're tourist. But you are not tourist. No. no. You're from here. You're, you're from here. I call it the struggle to exist. We're trying to assert our existence in a hostile environment that doesn't accept us. We should harness our talents and we should harness the good within us. This probably has some blood of others in it. You know, all these plants, right? Because the land here has been watered from our blood. And... It is for us ethnic cleansing. They're trying to vanish our identity. But at the same time, they can't really. They can't. Aren't they wondering how have we survived for 7,000 years and more? Do they think that if they destroy all these rocks, we're going to destroy within them? They must be full for that. We don't need rocks to remind us of who we are and what we are. Every single one of us is a whole museum of our identity itself. The kids, this is where I take my hope from. They are the future. We need to maintain our future. They say home is where your heart is. Oh, that's heavy. My heart is here, and it always will be.